We start though in Ashtabula County where the Ohio NAACP is investigating after complaints made by families in Geneva area city schools alleging instances of racial name calling and threats. Our Isabel Lawrence spoke with the president of the Ashtabula NAACP today to learn more about these concerns and what's being done. Isabel. Well, Betsy and Jay, the president of the Ashtabula branch, tells me these complaints are coming from the middle and elementary schools. Young students whose families say they are being bullied and insulted based on their race. Now, the president of the Ashtabula branch of the NAACP, Liz Penna, tells me that she's taken about 10 complaints in two months surrounding incidents impacting biracial students. Penna says these students have been called slurs, and she says one student even threatened to bring a gun to school and shoot Afro-American students, in her words. Penna says she has gone to school administrators but feels nothing is being done. So we've offered diversity training for the staff, which has been turned down. We, uh, one of the students wanted to do a program in the school to deal with racism. That was turned down. And I don't know where else to go from there. If the schools doesn't, don't want the training, or they don't want to admit that there's an elephant in the room, I don't know. Well, Penna says she's reached out to other agencies to look into this, such as the State Board of Education. She says she hopes they don't have to turn to litigation, but says some of these cases do have the possibility of turning into lawsuits. Now, I did also reach out to the school district today to request an interview with the superintendent. I received a statement from them that reads in part, quote, the district takes all allegations seriously and conducts a thorough investigation. We apply our policies and procedures and comply with those standards. When threats are made, they are swiftly investigated in conjunction with local law enforcement as school safety is our number one priority. Now, Penna tells me that the local branch of the NEACP will be holding a meeting on May 2nd that she says will be open to the public and meant to discuss these complaints and talk about what's being done. Of course, as soon as we have more details about that meeting, we will share it on air and online. That's and Isabel, Jack. that meeting is not just for students uh, with, or excuse me, parents with students in the Geneva schools. That would be for the county of Ashtabula or area schools too? I was told that will be a public meeting, so it sounds as if anyone who wants to join or is interested in learning more can be there. Awesome. All right. Thanks so much, Isabel.